everybody. This is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm back here to do day four of 12 days of pockets. Thank you for joining me today. I've got some, I've got two different pockets that I'm going to be showing you. Um, these were the ones I started with. These were things I had in my stash from a long time ago. This one was from when I very first made, uh, was making, um, journals and I think I saw it on Patricia Viramonte's this one I'm not sure where this has a pocket here and here um where I saw this but it was it was a long time ago and these are kind of small so I was looking at these and I'm going to talk about how I kind of played with them and um made different versions much larger versions of those um, for this one, just having a book page, it's folded in half, folded in half, part is put down, part is put down, and that's the folding. And then you glue it, you glue these flaps down, and you glue um, along here. You can glue this whole thing down if you don't want this part to be a pocket. But you, you, you know, glue this down here. Then I glue here to here, and I'll show you this later. And I glue it up here. So um, that's it. So I made a, a couple of these, and I made some more out of book pages. These are glued. Um, these are glued shut, I think. Yeah, because you could put a pocket behind it or you could make it a tuck. Um, but these, I made these, those are a little bit bigger. But then I tried a bigger one. This was from a big dictionary. This is this size. So I like that better. We have, um, let me just slide this in here. You have a pocket here and you have a pocket here. And in this one, I didn't glue it shut, so I also have a pocket here. And you could have a pocket back here or here if you want it as well. So I'm going to show you with this one. Um, I did start with a bigger dictionary page. And I'm going to cut some of the edges off of it. I glued it together with... Um, uh, glue stick and <clears throat> I'm gonna I, I always don't I don't always get the, the edges perfectly so I, I usually cut that some of that off I don't need all the white on there anyway and um, it might be that I cut some off the bottom when I when I make this as well but this is what I'm going to start with then. Okay. And I did glue it together yesterday or the day before um, when I was preparing for this video because I wanted to make sure that it didn't wrinkle when I folded it. So you're folding it up. Now I think I'll turn it this way and fold it so that this writing is right side up. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to fold it this way. And get it as close as you can to the edge. All right. Now, I could do it this way to be different then this one it would be a mirror image then or I could be this way I'm just kind of looking if I fold it down what does it look like and yeah I kind of like it this way because I like this even though it's upside down okay so then I'm going to Fold this down, and you can you can fold it down any 
any way you want. Ooh, it looks like we got a spider leg or something. Scorpion end. Well, I'll be decorating it anyway. And then I'm going to pull this one down. You can fold it. You could fold it, and I'll show you this on some other ones. You could fold it this way as well if you wanted. Um, it makes a difference when you start using different kinds of paper. Okay, so that is the basic pocket. I'm going to undo this and glue this down. Well, I finally had my um, my uh, event for my hobby club. We had a fashion show luncheon. I was in charge of raffle baskets, and they were all over my room last week, so it's so nice to be done with that. And even though we only uh, had like 90 some people at it because that's all we could fit the normal hall we do it in is closed right now um and uh so we had it had to be smaller so uh we still made on just the baskets uh well it was like over 600 dollars for our club so that was really good okay now, I'm going to um, just close up the side. And my cat, poor thing, I had her to uh, call the vet again yesterday. She's still coughing and sick and um, not good. Next week, I'm taking her in for blood work after she's been on medicine for a while. Okay. Now, I should have really, if I was going to, um, I forgot to, <clears throat> let's see, I forgot to do this. I'll just kind of do it all over like this. on that one part right here but yeah, it's okay so that one this is this isn't a bad size pocket you know it's a lot better than the really little one um this is another one that I made out of a book page and this one I took a double page like this and used it. And this one I put a notch here for the picture. And this is just that much bigger again than this one. So this is how this one is. I'm trying to decide. Apparently I was thinking about this. I had and I did this. Okay. So this one was a double page, and um, I'm going to do my, my notch in here. And then I'm going to remember to ink. Before I glue everything.
I'm hoping that anyway my cat gets better. She's she's 14. She's just the best cat I've ever had. She's so cuddly and loving. Okay, we're going to do this. If you wanted inside of here, you could put some glue too, but because it's folded, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to get glue on here. So the day after the fashion show, I went on a bus trip with some people, with a club but that I'm not in, but I got invited. Um, to We did a thrift store outing. And I found some great books and some things for making journals. Everybody else was looking at clothes. And I'm in the office supply and in the book part. And uh, didn't, looked at a little bit of clothes, but I didn't buy anything. Okay. Get this down. But that's okay. That's how I like to thrift. And here. So they're pretty fast. And you've got some like that. So then I thought, okay, what if I use other paper? So I started making some with the, I had these from Stampington a magazine I got for like a year before I realized it was really expensive and I didn't use it that much. So I've got a bunch of these and I started making um, these pockets. Now this is the mirror image so you can do it either way like I said. Also both of these I folded this in side instead of down like this one is down I folded it inside because I wanted this to show like I didn't want to hide this and plus this was white on the outside this one has had kind of pinkish on the back but um it this was totally white so then I folded this one down this way so you do have some white here and here and in here um and you could this one there was pink here but not here so I just used a tattered rose and um, put some underneath there so <clears throat> this is another one now this one it would be like this this one had green on the back so I folded both of them down like I did the uh, the book page ones I folded them both down so you can see how this is folded under this one's folded over so you kind of use your your paper the way the way it um, it wants to tell you this was a, a two-sided paper and I folded these this one back this way and this one down this way so that my pockets both were were the dark that was on the other side and um, so look at that um, this one here uh, it was white here and here so I took um, this and I cut it off and then I took pieces of it and I glued them and I'll show you on another one here I glued them like this just to cover up that white space so you can see here I cut that off of here and I glued them under here so that then when I put it up, this wasn't white. It was the same color as this. And uh, that was what I did with this one too. So this one's done uh, except for, for gluing. Um, now, I also wanted to show you this, depending on how your paper is. Like this one, I folded in half this way. This one, I was looking at what I had and I ended up folding it uh, in half this way. So that when I folded this up, I had this flower here. 
So, um, you know, you can, you can fold it whatever way seems to work. In this case, you have to put the glue here. Probably should ink that before I glue it. And I also, um, on this one, used a little pink here and here because I didn't, I didn't do that. Uh, I just used some, some tattered rose ink to make it a little pink. Okay. And this. Now this is, it's kind of a light cardstock. Um, weight. So, um, it's a little thicker than when you use book page, but I thought it was very nice. Um, it's not too thick, you know, it's not too overly thick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fold a couple of these. Okay. And I'll glue that late. I'll glue it later. Because I'm gonna show you making one. Now again, this is this one I, I it has these people on it. And there was no way that I could fold it that this would be right side up. So I decided to do this, fold it like this and like this. And then if I put this in like this and this here, I've got that color. Uh, that's the, the ladies. And you don't see it, but I've, I've got the color that that's in there. I might have to. Make sure I fold that a little better, but I I haven't used um, my bone folder on it yet. But and folded this one down and this one in like this again. I I will probably put I'll either cut some of this off and put it on there. I could show you. I could do that. Um. Cut this off like this. It kind of went like this. Mm -hmm. Cut that very straight. This can slide up in here, kind of even with that. And we'll glue that in there. Okay. I'm going to cut part of that off. I don't want that to go into that fold. get that placed very well. Try again. You have to get it up to the fold.
Should have cut it a little fatter. Yeah, live and learn. Now that will look like that. I might take a little of the edge off and whatever. And then this one, um, it had this bird cage on. I don't know if that's going to show up or. But I, I had figured I would put it like this. Fold this under like this, and the bird cage will show. And then I'll be folding it like this. Or just play with your your paper. You can do this with scrapbook paper as well. I do a lot of the next one with scrap paper. So I'm not going to glue it. I could cover that up or I could just put a little, uh, here, how about if I do this? I have this antique linen. Kind of that yellowish color. And then that will... That, that just kind of puts a little yellow on there and I don't have to worry about it. So that's another one. So this is a nice size pocket. Okay, that's that one. So have fun exploring. Now this one. This one here is made is another folded pocket, just like the last the last one was folded differently, of course. So I started with this. I had a couple of these in my stash from a long time ago. But again, I think they're kind of small. So I made a little bit bigger one with a dictionary page. And I'll show you how you make it. You, you take your um, paper and you fold it in thirds. Okay. Then you open it up. And this one gets folded down. Now I'm going to end up cutting some of this off. But I don't worry about doing it until, until I'm done. And then this gets folded like this. And then back like this. Okay, and um, I think I'll cut this off before I before I um, glue it, as I might want to. Also, what I do is I go to right to where this pocket meets the edge, right to where that pocket that fold meets the edge and cut it off. So now this goes exactly to the end right there. And that's why I didn't cut that big white part off before. So again, distress if you want to. And of course, none of these are decorated. I, I wait and I, I look at um, what I'm making and then decorate it with with that so then i would glue here and here 
and I'm not going to take the time because I'm looking at how long I've been on and I want to show you a lot more. Okay. I worked with a bigger dictionary page like I did with the other one. So this was started out as a big page like this. Same thing. Fold it in thirds. Kind of like this. This one ended up getting cut a little bit. This went down. Fold over, fold over. And I cut the bottom even. So this one is doubled. This one was single. Uh, I'll actually make this one. I'm going to take some of this white off. Fold it in thirds. Uh, just kind of make like a little tube like this. Open it up. This one will go down to here. And fold it over. Fold it over. Even with where this meets the edge. Okay, so then I thought, well, I want to try to use some things that aren't book pages. So this was... Um, it's actually, I got it from someone in the UK, so it's an A4 size paper. So I folded it in thirds and did my back and back, and, and now I just have to cut, cut this even with here. And the, I'm not going to get my cutter up, but... Um, and that was not a bad size. It's about seven and a half inches. Um, so I, I, I thought that, that was nice. That's a good size pocket. Um, this was a 12 by 12 paper, but because it was white on the back, I cut, and in this case, four inches off, folded this down. I glued the part I cut off on the back of here so that now that's the front. And I then folded it like this. And I did have to cut some off the bottom. This one was is about 8 inches. So it still fits on your page, but it's getting... It's, I thought it was a little big. So then I started experimenting. And this one started with a 9-inch square. I did the same thing. I cut 3 inches off, glued it onto here, which is on the back. And then I folded it down and folded it in. And I believe I had to cut a little off of there too. Which, that's a little bit smaller than I wanted. So then I started experimenting some more. This one, I did a 12 by 12 page, but I cut this three, three inches. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I cut off of here when I ended up being done with it. This this is what it looked like. So I had cut three inches off, 
I glued that three inches onto this side here and um, when I folded it down it looked like that okay folded it in like this and whoops and then folded uh, I got I got it like sort of like that so then I cut this part off and again it, it's a little bigger than that one but it's it's not that small so then I tried three and a half inches and this is the size that I ended up with it's seven it's a little over seven inches tall I started with a 12 by 12 I cut off three and a half I'm gonna make one for you but three and a half and glued that on and then folded and folded um, these are some other ones that I made this one I could have put this up higher because this is always longer than what I need so the flower showed more but it's still pretty um, and then I also did it with um, I had a calendar with the northern lights and I glued uh, I did the same thing. I cut a piece off, put it, glued it onto here, and folded it. So inside here, it, it's hidden because it's all folded in was the calendar part. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I have a paper just like this. This one. So three and a half. And I decided I wanted this. To show so I cut the paper I'll turn it this way measure that three and a half all right now this you can see the adore on this size oh I got ink on there I set it onto my Thing. Good thing it's on the inside. Yeah. Okay, so I I put this on, and I put this up higher because see I have a lot of extra on the back, and I wanted a little bit more of that to show. So I'm going to well I'll measure about where I want it. So I don't put glue over the whole thing. I want it about here and here. So I'm going to put glue on there. If I... Oops, that's not the one I want. I didn't put my thing back in. And it closed up. All right. Gonna go about right here. This gives it a little bit more body as well because with being with being a uh, um, it's just paper. I was getting it the right way. I line this up with the edge. All right. Now this I can cut off right away. Get it out of the way. about you but I have a lot of a lot of um, screws
scrap of paper. Okay, so I'm going to fold it even with this. Nope, I gotta get that. Fold it over. I like how that looks like a, kind of a sunburst coming out there. Even without decoration, it's pretty. And then even with this. My head's not getting in the camera. I'm trying to look over to make sure it's even. And last step. Get it even with there. Cut it off. And all you have to do is ink up and glue. And you've got a pocket. So I think it's lots of fun. I hope you will will uh, experiment with it. I'm going to pull some of these back out while we're while I'm just saying goodbye. And um, these are all this kind of pocket. These are here. Another one. But I, I've been playing for a couple of days because I wanted to get this where I, I really could explain it well and show you some various um, ways of doing it. Here's another one like this and like this and like this. And I did all these. And it just took me a really short time to make all these. So this is a wonderful mass making type project. So this is all we have that I was showing you today. That one was an old one, okay? So just with, I probably spent an hour doing doing this and uh, playing around and look at all the pockets I've got. So I hope that you will try it and experiment and see what you come up with. And um, I hope you'll join me for day four five which i'm getting ready for now already and i'll have more time so it won't be as far away so thanks for joining me subscribe if you haven't and i'm going to say this is carol from friendly quail saying bye